Hello there, toy collectors. My name is Kevin, aka Toying Around, and I am very excited to bring you this special review. This is the Metacom Mafex number 107 Spider Man Into the Spider Verse Spider Man Miles Morales action figure. That is a damn mouthful. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about this figure already. It's been delayed many, many months. I uh, got the shipping notification a few days ago from Hobby Link Japan. Paid that up shipped here in two days so I'm very excited to share this figure with you. If you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like this video and of course hit the bell with notifications on so you'll be notified whenever I have a new review up or when a new episode of Unboxing Thursdays is live on YouTube. Right off the bat, you can see the beautiful graphics on the front of the box, the Spider-Man Spider-Verse movie logo. It's got a nice purple, dark purple color around the borders. On one side of the box, you have all of the regular decals and a shot of Miles uh, with half of his mask on, or half of the mask off. It depends if you are an optimist or a pessimist. On the other side, we have the movie logo again, and the same shot of Miles web-slinging away from the viewer. And on the back, you can see everything that the package comes with. His outfit, uh, webs, his, all the different head swaps. Uh, Mathfax, Medicom, Toy Corporation, all the legal mumbo jumbo, yada yada yada. Alright, let's get this open. And got my Todd McFarlane sound effects going on. Alright, so first impressions with this figure. Right out of the box, there he's unlike any of the other Mathfax that I've got. The joints feel great. They're not super stuck like many of the other Mafax figures I've received. Uh, they're not super loose. I don't see any visible defects with it off the top. So we're off to a good start with Miles. Before we take off the soft goods and take a look at the articulation and the figure underneath, um, let's see what kind of range of motion you can get with the soft goods on. Uh, obviously there's going to be no hindrance for the head movement with this hoodie. Uh, the arms can still go this high. So you can do a lot of action with this. Uh, forwards, pretty much up to here with the jacket on and back. You know, all Spider-Man figures need a lot of posability, so with this jacket on, it's actually pretty decent. The, my main beef is with the shorts because you can't really do much with these. They, they're a little bit tighter on him, so that's about as far as you can go. Forwards, out and backwards like barely anything so if you want to do crazy miles poses with this uh with the shorts on you're you're going to be pretty limited your poses aren't going to be as extreme with that said let's get these soft goods off all right now that the soft goods are off you can see the figure much better there's not much going on on the costume but we can take a look at some of the sculpt and the detail real quick oh hand fell off First of all, you'll notice this spectacular head sculpt. I'm just going to show it again. I know I mentioned it earlier, but it looks fantastic. A really great sculpt. There's a lot of texture you can see in the hair here. Uh, on this neck, for the unmasked head, it shows some of the flesh on the neck as well. On the back, you have a red, almost like a graffiti-style logo. you got the spider logo on the chest here as well. It's red on the shoulders that meets this line down here. Um, the stomach area has sculpted webs as well as the chest and along the top of the arms and the forearms and these webs are sculpted and they have silver paint inside to really bring out that detail and it's not just uh, so that it's not just black all the way through uh, the rest of the body is plain down to here until you get to the calves the thigh area is a really flat smooth surface and once it goes from the knee down to the calf, it has a little bit more texture and more webs as well. And there's a little bit of a sheen on it and, of course, the silver lining in the webs as well. And you have your Target brand Jordans. So earlier we talked about some of the hindrance of the articulation from the jacket. Uh, we can take a look at that here and see without the soft goods if it makes a big difference. Uh, you have your head sculpt here with the unmasked head. It sits on... A double ball peg on the top so once you and it's a little bit curved as well I don't know if you can see that very well here so once you get this head on you can get like a crazy range of motion from where he looks and you can get it in a lot of different poses there's also rotation and articulation here at the base of the neck a little bit which adds more to the range as well 
He's got the butterfly joints, which is essential on any Spider-Man figure, whether you want his arms to go back, it's web-slinging poses, if you want to bring them together to pull some webs in, you want to do a quick Wakanda salute, um, you can definitely do that with these butterfly joints. There's no issues with these whatsoever. And honestly, I'm really surprised there's no issues with any of these joints sticking or me having to boil anything. I don't really have to work on this figure much in terms of loosening the joints or I don't you know I'm not worried about anything I don't think anything's gonna break I, I feel very confident in posing this again so your shoulder can go like this high you can definitely get all of your web slinging poses available here I'm not gonna put too much attention into this you have your bicep swivel double jointed and of course your wrist joint uh, the thing that matters most is that you can get him in spider-man poses that's all upper body doesn't go forward that much but then you can add to that with the uh, lower ab crunch but he does go pretty far back if you want to get some more like extreme spidey flipping poses uh, this part does expose a little bit inside the uh, abdomen where there's a gap between the upper and lower part depending depending on your angle it might not be the most sightly slightly gap in the figure otherwise he's still very poseable you can see here he can just he can't kick himself in the face though which you know some people look for that in a toy uh, one of the problems we saw earlier one of the problems we saw earlier was that the shorts was really limiting what he could do uh, but as you can see now, there's no problem with it at all. You can get him in incredible poses. Anything that you would want your Spider-Man to do, like this guy can do it. If you want to have him perched, web-slinging, kicking, you get some uh, D-Amazing style poses in here. And because you can get it in such amazing poses, you don't really need uh, a thigh swivel up here. It doesn't have one, but you don't need it. Uh, it has the double knee, which has a huge range, like all the way back. No calf swivel and the basic ball joint with peg for the ankle. And that's how the shoe goes on. So while we take a look at the accessories, we're going to have Miles sitting in the background here on this 796 Studio flight stand. Um, please keep in mind, this character, he is really small and really tiny, and as a result, all of his accessories are really, really tiny. He comes with seven different pairs of hands, plus the ones obviously you get on the figure and also all these pairs of shoes. I was trying to shoot some b-roll with my camera and I ended up dropping it and there was a whole explosion of parts all over my basement. So that was another 15 minutes trying to find everything. Uh, so along with the awesome head sculpt you see on the figure, you also get the half unmasked Miles Morales, which is super cool. You still have the nice sheen on the mask as well right on top. This is a very nice addition and that goes on the same neck that's on the figure now that also exposes part of the, the flesh tone at the top of the neck. He comes with the mask accessory. So when you're posing him with that head sculpt in the back, you can have him holding his mask as well. This is kind of the same as the Mafex comic Spider-Man where you get the unmasked accessory there's a little bit of a dent here so you can have his hand holding it you also get a different neck that's for the full costume spider-man this one doesn't have any flesh tone at the top this is the one you would use when he has his mask on you have like a basic relaxed face with the eyes and the one on the right his eyes are a little bit more focused more intense maybe he's focusing on something maybe he's getting ready to fight and these two are both done really well as well. It's got the webbing pattern all throughout the whole thing. And the paint on mine is really, really solid. 
Like I mentioned earlier, the accessories for this are really, really small. I don't even know how I'm supposed to hold these with my not even large fingers. But it comes with eight sets of hands. If you include the one that's on the figure, he comes with the fist hands. And it also obviously comes with the web shooting hands. It's not a Spider-Man figure without web shooting hands. And all of the hands are really done well because you can see there's a web pattern on the black part on the back. And they transition into the red color you see on the fingers and the fingertips, even on these two fingers here as they're bent in. So you have the web shooting hands, you have this. Okay, so I was having a ridiculous time trying to hold these tiny hands one by one while trying to get the camera to focus. And they're so, they're so small that I don't want my hand or my fingers blocking any of them. So this is how I'm going to do it. It's just going to be a semi-zoomed in close-up on my Dio. That tiny cigarette is part of the diorama from the Dio God himself, 52420 on Instagram. So don't mind that. Like I said earlier, you get the magnetized web crawling hands right here. That's going to be the marker. The cigarette's going to be the marker. So you got the magnetized web crawling hands. You have this hand that can hold a web line, but it also doubles as a thumbs up hand. Got a semi relaxed hand, fully relaxed hand. You kind of got this 50% open one. And finally, you have this wide open hand as well. Now in terms of footwear, you get two pairs of the Spider-Man costume shoes. These shoes do have toe articulation. They also have the web detail on it with the silver lining that looks really good. You get two different pairs, one that is magnetized and one that it's not. So if you want to play with him and stand him on something metallic, you can put on the metal ones. If you want to do any toy photography that may show the bottom of his foot, you would use this one here. But there's a big break when you do the toe articulation anyway. The other footwear that you get with Miles Morales is this pair of, what, what, what are those? Um, those aren't Jordans. Those aren't Nikes. Uh, what's going on? You get two pairs of these, like the Spider-Man costume shoes. One pair is magnetized and one is not. I find it very confusing that they weren't able to get the Nike Jordan brand for this figure. They recently just released the Michael Jordan figure with actual Nikes, with the actual swoosh logo on it. Um, it's kind of perplexing. So does that mean Mafex only got the license from Nike to use it on the Jordan figure? Did Jordan only allow it for his figure? Is he like blocking all the other figures from this line of getting Jordan shoes? So that's kind of crazy. Uh, we're going to try later on to see if the shoes fit though. So much like the comic Spider-Man figure, you get a whole bunch of different web accessories with Miles Morales. Uh, you get two of these shorter ones here with the little circle loops at the end. So you can put it between the forearm and the hand and it makes it look like it's shooting the webs out. You get two longer ones as well. This is a short one and this is the long one. And both of these have loops. You can use them on both hands at the same time. One is more of a 90 degree and one is slightly larger. I'm not sure if that's intentional or they were just creased in the box. And last but not least, you get this long web. This is the long web. This is the longer wrist shooting web. And this one has a little grip at the bottom so you can use your gripping hands to get some web swinging poses. Now probably the most important thing with this figure is do MJ's sneakers fit on Miles Morales? I'm going to start first with the ones. And uh, the peg holes are much larger as this, you know, Miles is a shorter guy. Uh, things are a little bit smaller. The peg holes are bigger on the Jordan shoes and the pegs themselves on Miles is smaller. So as a result, you're gonna get some, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it might work with some blue tack. Um, but once I can get this to balance, you can see from the front view, um, you know, you can judge for yourself. Are they too big? Are you willing to uh, overlook the difference in size and chalk it up to animation style and art style? Be like, oh, maybe a cartoon character does wear bigger shoes. Um, let's see a side view. 
This is the side view. He's kind of leaning back, Michael Jackson style. The shoes definitely look like clown shoes. They are very large. So these do not work. I'm gonna go try it with the sixes now. And, uh, you know, like everybody else, the Jordans that came with the Mafex MJ look incredible. The, like, if you're a sneaker collector and a toy collector, like, that figure was a dream come true. The, that set with the shoes is a dream come true. But they definitely look way too big on Miles over here. Both pairs of shoes. One pair that I was really excited to try on were these actual Jordan 1 uh, origin stories that were made by the homie uh, at 52420 Steven. I mentioned him earlier, he made this dial and he hooked, he hooked me up with a pair of these and uh, they have blue tack in them right now and they're like more movie accurate, but they're also around the same size as the Jordan shoes. So now that we have them on, uh, front view, it looks okay with the sticky tack it does it does help him stand a little bit better um, the blue tack and these ones do look like they fit a little bit little bit better if I were to put them side by side with the shoes that they came with actually they're a lot bigger so you guys let me know in the comments do you think these shoes fit this Miles Morales Unfortunately, I haven't received the Marvel Legends uh, Stiltman Wave Miles Morales yet for comparison. So the only ones that I have at the moment are the Venom Wave, Space Venom Wave Miles Morales, which is on the smaller Marvel Legends buck. And then you can see they're pretty much the same size. And on your right side, this is Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider, whatever you want to call it, also from Marvel Legends. It sucks that I don't have Peter B. Parker from the Stiltman wave either. That wave isn't even out yet in Canada, but in his place, this is the Mafex comic Spider-Man, and this is the Mafex Michael Jordan. If you want to pose him next to an adult size figure, here is the Peter Parker from the Marvel Legends retro wave. Here's Miles next to a bunch of ninjas. You know this one is the Gold Skull Mezco Ninja. This is a Articulated Icons Red Ninja. G.I. Joe Classified Series Red Ninja. In a G.I. Joe classified series, Snake Eyes. And last but not least, we have a Power Rangers Lightning Collection Red Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper. This is the original Stormtrooper. So ever since I posted a picture that I received this figure, uh, people have been asking me, hey, how is it? You know, should I get it? How does it feel in hand? And from what I can see, it's better than the Marvel Legends for sure. You have swappable shoes, tons of hands, web accessories, and a much better face sculpt with articulation but is it perfect no absolutely not my biggest gripes are the design of the shorts here and some of the limited articulation when he's wearing the shorts the shoes we know aren't nikes but we knew that going in but any hope that we had of the mj nikes fitting on this figure have since been dashed if you don't have a need for a soft goods miles i'd say stick with the legends and if you don't want to spend the money on this version there are a lot of customizers out there who make a soft good outfit for this Miles Morales. Is this better than the Sentinel version? Uh, we don't know yet. You know, that one has sculpted clothes, which may work better when posing Miles in his street clothes. And also the Sentinel version has a few more props. I do like this figure because it's so posable and playable. I have no QC issues with my copy of Miles. The biggest problem is the shorts. I mean, is that a deal breaker for you? Let me know in the comments below or which version you intend to buy. If you like the review, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing with notifications on so you know that the next time I have a new review up or when I go live for my weekly unboxing. Thank you for watching and keep toying around. Peace.